YouTube. Uh, today on Cycling Lost Lines, I'm in Glasgow. Normally when I do these videos, um, it's a bike path. There is still structures, but there's no sign of the track. But here today, I'm actually cycling. <laughs> there is track here. I'm actually at uh, the SECC in Glasgow. And if you look around here, you can see there's a wonderful Client Navigation Trustees Crane Number 7, built by Cowan Sheldon of Carlisle. We've got the Rotunda over there, uh, the Squinty Bridge in the background, uh, and obviously the, the SSE Hydro and the Armadillo there. And there's a little bit of um, track here. This used to be, before it was the SEC, uh, there was a dock here. And the railway lines, or the weird railway lines, right along to Clyde Bank and Oak Hill Patrick and Bowling. That's where I'm going today. I did notice by quite inch of the National Cycle Group number 7, and so far it's pretty much uh, along the side of the road. And we've got, obviously, that's been a, a bridge buttress. It's been knocked through uh, to ramp up onto the railway track bed. Opposite, there's, there's, there's nothing, there's just a block of flats. So we're going to carry on up this and see. Okay, so we're onto the cat bed now and we've got the first bridge. Yes, I'm still saving up for a GoPro, so I'm doing this entirely handheld. Definitely into uh, the Lost Lines territory now. been a, a passenger rail at some point. That's amazing. Something sort of railway related structure probably.
artwork on the side of the bridge and we're just another one of these there's simply quite a few of these structures I'm not sure if these are signal boxes Railway bridge across it. The line diverged. Branches off one, one branch has gone, one branch has gone over the left. This branch is carried off. Oh, it's a road actually. Not tell like that's a road. Seeing there's a couple of uh, abandoned virgin uh, coaches over there on the. Uh, I'm going to go in for a closer look. So discovered these coaches, wondered what they were. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a way in, but then if we zoom out, we just come here. There's actually, oh you can't see it, <laughs> behind those bushes there, there's a couple of Scott Rail vans. So I think this is maybe a, a Scott Rail training centre, training centre or something. Uh, you can probably see there's a Scott Rail van in behind there, so I think that's probably some kind of Scott Rail facility. So the old coach is maybe there for training. Rejoining the line, we're in uh, Little's car park, but uh, the line appears to dive under this bridge. So I'm going to carry on this way. I can just hear a train going by on the, the line that's open. It runs parallel to this. You can sort of understand why this line was flashed uh, by. by the width of the bridge there. Something? Okay. So there's a that bridge that just came under is actually taking that line over. Uh, let's stop and get some photographs. Well, this is interesting. I've just climbed up the top of the bridge, and uh, this looks like a platform edge on the left-hand side, with um, the railway running down between the, there and the edge edge of the bridge, so uh, there might have been a, a station up here at some point, well this just carries on through here and disappears into the trees and obviously comes out uh, and crosses over that bridge 
further down. If anyone's lost a bike, I've just found one. Uh, so if, if you know someone who owns this bike, if it's been stolen, let us know in the comments and I can uh, point, point out the direction for you. Another road crossing, another bridge, it's obviously one one abutment there, uh, the rest is just gone. So we're heading off in this direction. Right, I'm going to have to be very careful where I put my camera because I think this is somebody's house now. Um, and it appears to be an original Caledonian Railway station building with a booking office. That was, that was unexpected. But beautiful, beautiful building, lovely, lovely to see. Kind of, we well, lost the the, um, the line for a bit going under the Clydebank town centre, and uh, the actual cycle route goes off and follows the Fourth and Clyde Canal. Uh, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to follow the railway. But the found there's an abandoned railway bridge here, just diverts off the uh, network rail line at Clyde, just west of Clydebank station here. Uh, and then we have this, what appears to be dot line, coming off. There's a big hole in the ground just behind us, so don't know where that's come from. Um, but we're going to try it. I'm going to follow that road around to the left there and see if we can uh, catch up with the the line somewhere. For so I finally traced the track bed, caught up with it, um, in the back of uh, some wasteland. This part is clearly uncyclable, but I'm going to try and climb through it and uh, catch you on the other side. Well, climbed, climbed through the other side of the bridge. So it's pretty much jungle from here on. So it's <laughs> it might turn into walking lost lines at this point. This bit, we might be able to cycle through this bit for a bit. Uh, or not. A lot of undergrowth here. A lot of trees. Uh, yeah, I'll need two hands for this. Quite an intense uh, walk through that undergrowth, but we found something that slightly more resembles a footpath, so we're just going to carry on along here and see where this takes us. That looks really late. Down there, and we're just going over a, over a bridge, which sounds like it's maybe over a river or something. It's not easy. It's not easy trying to do this whole thing you can't move my hand. Unfortunately, due to YouTube's uh, recent demonetizing everyone with less than 2,000 subscribers, I can't earn money off this. So uh, I will need to save up for a GoPro through other means. Follow that path along, we've now come to what appears to be a filled in bridge. So, we need to climb out here and find a way over the other side of the road. I eventually found a way out that came out onto the canal uh, towpath. This is also on 
the cycle route kind of meeting back to the uh, track here. So I'm standing on top of the bridge. I'm also running out of battery on the camera, so uh, this might be my last clip, but uh, we're going to carry on towards Bowling. Probably get on the train at Bowling and head back to Glasgow. We've uh, crossed the bridge and come under here, and uh, we're into the Sottings Nature Reserve. And uh, as you can see, we've caught up with the, uh, the railway. Uh, under this bridge, there's, there's platforms here, so this may have been the station. Uh, but the track bed is pretty waterlogged, so not cyclable. Um, so I'm going to carry on and get back up onto the, the path which uh, goes along alongside uh, the railway and cycle along there. So here we are at Bowling. I've just uh, followed the path uh, from basically Erskine and uh, of the north end of the Erskine Bridge, Old Patrick. Uh, so this bridge, obviously, over the Fourth and Clyde Canal is uh, fenced off, so we can't go over there. Uh, so we're going to have to. Go